I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. Nearly 9 million children in the U.S. are at risk of losing health care coverage because Congress has failed to reauthorize the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP. The program expired on September 30th. It's astounding because both Republicans and Democrats support the program that makes sure that kids get health care if their parents can't afford insurance but earn too much for Medicaid. Six states will run out of funding by the end of the year, basically in two weeks. 30 other states in Washington, D.C., say they can only get to March. Groups like Children's Health Fund, which provides care to kids with the least access, say without funding, progress on children's health will be lost. Dr. Marseille White is a pediatrician and the medical director for Children's Health Fund in Washington, D.C. Many of our families, you know, depend on this program uh, to ensure that they can come and see their pediatricians, they can get their flu vaccines, they can receive their immunizations to keep them healthy and ready to learn in, cl in the classroom. And so many states are reducing the uh, number of children and families that can be enrolled in the programs just because they don't know and they have to look at the budgets and figure out where they need to make the adjustments. Dr. White worries that without the insurance, families will wait to visit doctors relying on expensive emergency care. Unfortunately, when a family cannot access care, that means that when that ear infection gets more severe, they're going to show up in more high-cost venues, such as the emergency departments. It means that that ear infection might become a bit more severe, and I might be able to treat it very easily with antibiotics and get it very early on in its course. But if families don't have insurance, they're not going to access care. A bipartisan group of 12 governors is urging CHIP's reauthorization. They've written a letter to congressional leaders asking them to, quote, make it a priority and act as quickly as possible. New Hampshire's governor, Chris Sununu, a Republican, signed that letter. He wants Congress to pass CHIP funding before states run out of money and children are forced to go without care. He joins us from the State House in Concord with the help of our affiliate, WMUR. Nice to see you, sir. Tell me how many children are covered under CHIP in your state. Well, just in the small state of New Hampshire, we're looking at nearly 100,000 children that are covered under this program. Uh, it's been around for quite some time. It's, it's a vital program. That's why it has such uh, broad-based bipartisan support. That's why we're trying to be so vocal uh, to the folks in Washington to make sure that these funds are reauthorized. And you have additional problems, I would imagine, considering, frankly, the opioid abuse issue that exists in New Hampshire and many of the states actually near you as well. There is no denying we have an opioid crisis here. And when you're out talking to a lot of these folks uh, that are in treatment or in recovery, uh, you hear stories that matter. One story that, that uh, came to us very recently was a mom. Uh, she had been addicted. She had a child. Uh, the child became a custody of the state through the foster uh, program while the mom was getting treatment and recovery. And the mom got back on her feet. She got a job. She started living a very healthy life, uh, regained custody of that child. The last thing that mom needs to be worrying about is health care for that child. And that's where the um, Children Health Insurance Program, known as CHIP, has been so vital and why we have to stand up as governors. If you look at the tax bill, which which is being pushed through right now by, by Republicans. So your party, part of the reason the money's not there, of course, is that you have to have cuts before you can reauthorize something that's going to have a cost. What's the solution, and who do you blame for this predicament? Uh, well, I'm not going to focus on the blame, but at the end of the day, you got to be able to prioritize. you got to say certain programs just have to be there. Certain programs are getting real results. The number one thing Washington needs to be doing is pushing these programs back to states. So let states be the innovators uh, in terms of, of these programs and make sure the federal government is simply providing that platform. CHIP is, is a platform, a funding platform that we absolutely need, but let states innovate. We'll find the cuts in the savings. How does that innovation work under a ticking clock, right? I mean, we're talking December 31st. CHIP ends in New Hampshire, correct? So, so how, uh, how do you, uh, what, what, what do you do right now to make sure that, that you're going to get your CHIP money? We knew that this could be potentially happening, and we budgeted very well in New Hampshire. So we have a little more of a buffer. This won't really hit us till about mid-next year. Other states will be facing this deadline on December 31st, but it's going to hit us, uh, to be sure. Uh, the real answer is approve the funding and provide flexibility. Let the states innovate. Often when they talk about reauthorization, of course, there's a certain uh, lengths of time. Uh, would two years reauthorization be basically you and I would be back here in another, you know, 12 months talking about the same problem? Boy, I hate that we deal anything with, with two and, and four years minimum, because when you deal with things in two years, 
that's when you really let politics get involved. And you, the, the shorter term you think, the more politics you're likely to interject into the solution. Maybe I'm, I'm a little overly optimistic, but I believe in people. I really do. I don't care what political party you're from. I believe that being down in Washington, working with not just the Trump administration, with congressional leadership, to let people know that uh, there's real folks at the other end of this. This isn't just big money statistics and, and caseloads that you see down in Washington, D.C. This is about individuals. Do you feel optimistic that this is going to be resolved in time before you run out of money? I'm optimistic. We got to keep it on the front burner. We got to let people know this isn't just an issue of the day we're not going to be dealing with next week or next month. This is an issue that we need to keep fighting for until we get the right solution. Chris Sununu is the governor of New Hampshire. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you, Soledad.